Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabrielle Kazaya. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video is going to be All Things College Part 2, following up from my last video. So if you haven't watched my last video, make sure you watch that one. After or before this one, I am a little under the weather, as y'all probably can hear, so don't mind that at all. To give a little background, I am a sophomore economics major, entrepreneurship and innovation minor, attending Spelman College, but I just want to talk about my college experience, things that I find applicable to any college, no matter if you go to a HBCU, a PWI, a junior college, whatever it may be, even if you're in grad school, these tips should help you and I hope it helps your college experience be a little better. I'm going to start with like dorm tips and living. So as y'all can see, I'm not in a dorm this year. I am in off-campus student housing. However, my tip for any living area, whether you have a suite style and you have a living room or if you're in a dorm, just make it as comfortable as possible. Your dorm is going to be one of the places that you come to and can just like retreat back after all the things that you've been experiencing that day so i also sometimes recommend to not do your homework in your room i'm not saying not do it every time because they're going to be late nights and you're going to be crunching and like doing your work in your room but just try to give yourself like some time and a break in between just so your room can be like your happy space your zen area like you won't really think about school and all the other things that are going on in your life while you're in your room so no matter the semester you are in you are always going to have syllabus week syllabus week in college is basically you get your syllabuses you find out what you're going to be doing that semester it's also during ad drop period if you decide you want to take the class you don't want to take the class my like number one tip is to write all your assignments down in your syllabus in your calendar that way you know and like say it's tuesday september 20th you can look on your calendar and know that in October, at the end of October, you're going to have a paper due. So that way you're not going to be having all these unexpected things. And when your professor is sitting here like, okay, guys, how's that paper doing? Like you already know and you're already ahead of it. Also, try your best to do all your work early. If you just try to do your work one to two days earlier, it's going to save you so much time and you're always going to be ahead of the curve. As well as if you're struggling or feel behind in a certain topic, you can get help days and weeks in advance because you're doing your work early. Additionally, this is like my biggest thing. If you do your work early, but like one day you decide you want to procrastinate or like you don't feel like doing your work you just want to go to sleep or like you want to watch movies that night it's okay because it's not going to be late because you did not wait until the day it's due to start your work you did it ahead of time and that is really to me what was the difference between my a grades and my b grades in college when i did my work ahead of time when i was making sure that i was always on topic and if i needed to get help i was going ahead of the test ahead of the quiz that really helped me a lot so what many people forget is that college is not just like fun games parties join these organizations on campus and then leave your main focus here is to get a job or career after this and if that's not what your focus is you need to like really shift and adjust i think a lot of people wait until junior year to like start figuring out what they want to do you are not going to have the opportunity you want with the highest paying job or the best career culture and the job culture if you do not start now so first year sophomore year all of those years you need to be looking for internships externships or career development programs at Spelman specifically we have things kind of like built in like Braven sophomore year that is like career development however if you're not at a school that has that make sure you are securing an internship for your summertime that is a time where you can get um experience and whatever work environment that you want to go to so like say you do one year your first year after your freshman year you go and do an internship at marketing and you hate it now you know you need to pivot and change what you're going to do it is not just for developing your career or figuring out where you want to go after your four years your five years how many years you're going to be in college it's also to get experience and learn what you do and you don't like and how to pivot and how to change many people change their major in college 
you want to know one of the reasons is also because they took an internship and learned that what they're getting their major in is nothing what they want to do at all so that is completely okay but make sure you're doing it so it's not like your junior year when most people are getting return offers or getting ready to go into their job and you're just lost college is expensive i'm not going to sugarcoat it make sure you look for scholarships early make sure you are still applying to scholarships when you're in school i know especially when you're like in the in the thick of it in college it's like oh i don't have the time to spend like 15 minutes to an hour applying for scholarships but the people who are taking the time out to apply for those scholarships making the videos doing the interviews are really the people who are getting the cash getting the money one thing I do want to add and I'm gonna have a longer video and I'll put something on TikTok just about like refunds in college and things of that nature but please 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 make sure you are filling out I think it's the 1099 tax form especially if you're getting a refund because you have like more scholarship money than you need to that's gonna save you a lot because trust me the IRS is watching you and you do not want to be behind on your taxes or getting taxed extra for scholarship money that you got as a refund so just make sure you're applying to the scholarships early i have a whole video on my tiktok of all the scholarship sites that i recommend as well as others you literally can find them on tiktok you can do a google search it's not very hard ask your financial aid people what scholarships they know because those are the ones that other students have applied for and received so they already know the caliber that they're looking for make sure you're applying to scholarships because you don't want to end up in debt and if you are going to end up in debt and have like a bunch of student loans to pay back, make sure you're going to start like preparing your finances for that and starting to understand like how that's going to work when you're done your college degree. College is about networking as you all obviously know. So a lot of people are like, how do you network or how do you start to build those relationships that you're going to need in college? There are a few easy ways that you can obviously do it. Joining clubs, joining organizations, joining study groups. Those are places that you can immediately meet people who have similar likes and interests as you. That is pretty much what starts to like formulate friendships and like you start to get to know people. If you're staying in a dorm or on campus, start talking to the people down the hall from you. Start talking to them like you'll probably find a common thing or at least you'll have someone to go with you to the cab or to go with you to the party that weekend and enjoy your time. Lastly, make sure you're talking to the people who are literally taking class with you like some people just use like like you make a group chat and they're like oh like what's the answers what's this but those are people that you're going to be seeing that entire semester so if you're not at least saying hi to them in the halls or like when you're coming into class and having like small conversation you never know where someone's going to end up or which will we'll need each other for. One thing Spelman especially prides itself on is like we're a sisterhood. So if I call my Spelman sister when I'm in this job and she has something that I may need or advice that she can give, we're going to always give and take. It's a give and take relationships. Relationships are not one sided. So if you are in college, especially in a friendship that's one sided and someone is just taking and taking and taking from you, that is not your friend. Do not allow college to make you be used. You are supposed to be building genuine relationships, genuine connections. And if you don't feel that, that is, then maybe you should take a step back from that friendship and really evaluate it. Evaluate who you are as a person, who that person is, and just how do you all mesh together and how don't you? It is perfectly okay if y'all don't mesh together. No one said that you have to be friends with everyone, but do try and make genuine friendships and connections because you all will only be here for four years. It's going to go by super fast. I'm literally already in my second year and I feel like I was just a first year. So what I will say is build those relationships build those friendships i know this is probably long-winded and you're like gabby girl you already told us this but it is so important like that is how when you have a really long day of classes or when you're just really not doing well in school or you just failed a quiz or something happened those are going to be your girls your guys whoever they may be who are going to support you and y'all can have fun and bring light to the situation because without that you will start to feel very alone and it's very hard to be lonely and feel alone and be going through all this in college especially if you're in a new place so try and make those connections and relationships because it really will benefit you it would not be my video if i did not talk about self-care and honestly i think i want to talk about mental health first 
mental health in college is important i'm not going to sit here and lecture to you all i know you all know this however i really want to ensure like y'all are taking care of your mental health i personally journal while i was in college like when the days got hard i came back i journaled i wrote out all of my feelings and then i was able to like move forward and continue with my day that is something i still do to this day sometimes i might have to call a friend and rant or just express like this is what i'm feeling like i i really think i'm not going crazy but i need you to reassure me that i'm not but also go to the counseling center go to a therapist get one-on-one -on -one attention that you need mental health is like not a joke i don't play about that i don't i don't think that others should either you may not be able to fix whatever you're going through just by journaling or just by going to a therapist like you may need medication you may need to see a psychologist you may need to see a psychiatrist whatever it may be make sure you're getting a help don't ignore your feelings don't ignore your emotions and how you're feeling if you're starting to feel depressed like it may not be a self-care day that's going to get you out of that but make sure you're getting and seeking the help additionally self-care wise i really feel like as a girl you look if when you're looking for your best you just radiate that energy so if that means that one day a week you need to have your self-care day even if it's after a long day of classes do your face mask do your skincare do all of those things make sure you are feeling your best because it's really going to help and elevate your mood and your energy in college and that is so important because if you don't feel and look amazing you're not going to perform well and that's just my psychology of it at least that's like how i think about it if you don't think about it like that that's fine but over here babe if i don't look in for my best i really do not like wake up every day excited and when i wake up every day looking and feeling amazing i just look in the mirror like mm -hmm, you're that girl and now it's time to get to class period so those are all of my tips for college comment down below any more like nuanced or niche things you want to know about college i know i didn't really speak to meal plans and eating in this video so if you do want that in part two let me know i also didn't really talk about like partying in college either now that i think about it so if that is something that you're interested in let me know and i would love to do a part three of this video i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep up with me on all my socials for more day-to-day -day and tips and tricks about college life and just exploring your 20s in general. I love you all and I hope you have an amazing day.